everyone, my name is Carol and I'm a freelance lifestyle journalist who also runs almostdiplomatic.com. It's where I share about my life as a millennial diplomat's wife, the good life on a budget, and currently living in and traveling from Berlin. So for today's video, I'm currently in between appointments, but I thought I would shoot a really quick one for you guys because it's been a while since I actually did a sit down video and I know a lot of you are subscribed to this channel because you like hearing about some of the things that I learn along the way as a diplomat's wife and I am so glad that I am able to share this with you as well. For today's video, our topic is saying no. Like how can you say no to an invitation or to a work related thing without making other people feel bad? And should you really apologize for saying no? Because I'm a firm believer that you shouldn't. <laughs> uh, but sometimes it's also hard because I also find myself apologizing to people for just saying no, even though I never really did anything wrong. It's just that I'm not free. <laughs> so I'm going to give you some tips, uh, some things that I learned along the way on how I could say no without apologizing but also making sure that the other person doesn't feel bad. I know a lot of people feel guilty when it comes to saying no because they might not get invited anymore. So there's a way to get around that. And I'll also tell you when you should actually apologize for saying no, because there are instances when you actually should. Getting an invitation to a formal event or even just a casual hangout is such a nice feeling however there are times when you just don't have enough space in your schedule and you won't be able to handle it so the thing is you have to make sure that you're able to communicate that you value their invitation and that you value the fact that they remembered and wanted you to be there so let's say i'm being invited to an event but i already have a prior commitment on that same day and time so i'll probably say Thank you so much and I am so grateful that you invited me. However, I won't be able to make it. So clear, simple, and just honest. An honest response that is also appreciative is something that most people will respond positively to. So don't worry so much about it. You normally don't have to explain where you're going or what your other commitment is. However, I know that if it's a close friend, some of them would ask like what your other commitment is. But for this, let's say you don't want to tell them where you're going, then it's perfectly fine to just say, yeah, it's just been scheduled for quite some time now. I'll try to make it up to you another time. Or if you're too tired, let's say your friends are asking you to go out for drinks tonight, but you just planned on watching Netflix and staying at home, recharging yourself, that is also perfectly fine. You can just say, thank you. I'm so grateful that you invited me. However, I was planning on laying low tonight. Our energy usually gets depleted towards the end of the week. Like I'm 30 and I'm still considered young. However, I know how it is when you've had like a lot of social engagements during the week and you are just looking forward to that time at home wherein you get to turn on the TV and watch Hunters or whatever is on Amazon Prime or on Netflix so I know how it is and sometimes a lot there will be people who won't understand they'll be like oh just please go out sometimes I'm like this I'm really sorry to my friends sometimes I'm like this and I push them to go out however you can be firm about your no and just be like my energy has just been depleted and I really want to be you know my fun self when we go out the next time so I'll make it up to you then this I admit is extremely difficult. I say yes to a lot of things because I love to work. So for the first months in a new city, I try to say yes to a lot of things and I whittle it down to the things that matter. So much later on, then I would just say yes to certain things and I have to bow out of other commitments, especially since not everything works for my schedule and also works for what it is exactly that I do. However, you do want your professional connections to remember you the next time they have a project and not just, you know, not think about you anymore because they think you're too busy or that you just say no to everything nowadays. You want them to think that maybe the next time you will have more time to accept other projects, especially if it's a project that is actually going to be of interest to you and maybe at the time you actually have the capacity in your schedule to accept it. So you just want to be kept in the loop. So normally I'd say either in person or via email, something along the lines of thank you so much for thinking of me for this project. I won't be able to collaborate with you on this because it just doesn't work well with me right now. 
However, please let me know about your next projects, especially the ones that you think we might be able to collaborate on. Or if you really want to get it, let's say for another month or like another time, then you can propose your own timeline. You could say, I don't have time for it this month, but I could probably do it in blank. So you could actually propose a different timeline for them and then they could probably say like, yeah, sure, that works for us. Or if they really need it in advance, then they'll probably be like, yeah, so we really need it this month, but hopefully we could work together on the next one and that's also something that you could say once they tell you that yeah we really need it right now and we're sad that you can't do it for us next is saying no to a date just say no and stick to that decision so say something nice but also firm so something along the lines of thank you so much i am very flattered and you are or you are very kind to ask me out for a date However, I only see you as a friend. Don't string guys along for the attention or just because you feel bad because this gives us ladies a bad name. This makes the no given by other women who are actually serious about their no, uh, makes it seem like they're just playing hard to get. And another thing that you could say, let's say you're single, but you just don't see the person as someone who you will date. You could say, thank you so much. That is very kind or I am very flattered. However, I just don't see things working out between us. Hi everyone. So the video that you are currently watching was shot a few days before the number of COVID-19 cases went up here in Germany. And I thought I would just pop by in again and just to say something uh, that I find to be of utmost importance at this moment. So currently Berlin is not under lockdown. However, the government did place some new rules and some other precautions to help stop the spread of the virus. And one of the things that the government is telling people to do is to practice social distancing and to avoid unnecessary contact with other people. So I know not everybody has the luxury to stay at home or work from home. And I know that there are frontliners out there who are working really hard to stop the spread of the virus. And there are also people whose livelihood, like the money that they need every day to buy food, depends on them showing up at work. But if you are someone who can stay at home, if please do stay at home. If you are someone who still has friends who are asking you to go out and meet up with them, maybe hang out in the park or in one of the outdoor tables at the restaurants, please say no. Maybe say something like, thank you for inviting me or I'm so glad that you're still thinking of me at this time. However, I am practicing social distancing and I really hope that you would do the same because this is not just about us, especially for the young people actually. It's not just about us, but also for other people so that they don't get the virus. Guys, I cannot stress this enough. There are some people who are asymptomatic and that doesn't stop them from infecting others. I am very anxious about the situation because I have older parents and grandparents and I'm very, very worried uh, for them because even though they haven't been traveling as much, it is just so easy for like the virus to just get to where they are by being passed on from one person after another. Thanks once again for listening to that important bit and now that I've said that, we can now go back to the original video. I apologize when I have to break an appointment. So say I already said yes to something, however it turns out I double booked it. Happened a couple of times, hate to admit it, even though I do love my Google Calendar and even my handwritten calendars, sometimes it still happens. So for these things, you really have to apologize and profusely. I make sure to do it right away and tell them as soon as I can, just to make sure that you don't mess up someone's schedule really bad. So normally I would say, I'm really sorry, blank. I think I overbooked that day. I'm so sorry, but I hope I can make it up to you on another day. So if it's a flexible appointment, however, if it's a formal event, then you could just retract your RSVP just in case that one of the appointments that you double booked is actually breakable, something that you could reschedule then ask the person nicely and really try to make it up to them when you do get to see each other. 
people are really understanding, especially when you're just honest from the get-go and nice about it as well. So being nice and being honest, these are things that actually go far. And this is way, way better than stringing people along thinking that you're gonna go to an appointment and then just having to cancel at the last minute. Should there be any changes in your schedule after saying yes to something, just tell everybody right away so that they could also fix their schedules on time. Another thing that I also apologize for is if I suddenly fall sick. Yes, this is not my fault. However, I already said yes to something and I am messing up the plans of another person. You are not apologizing for being sick. You are apologizing because someone was expecting you to come. However, you just can't make it. You know, things happen. So I hope that was fun for you as much as it was for me, even though this was really quick and rather off the cuff. I wanted to shoot something real quick in between uh, two appointments. So, yeah, oh shoot, I'm gonna be late. So, thank you so much for being here. And for the next sit down video, I'm gonna have something on dress codes i want to help decode them for you especially if you're like a junior diplomat or diplomatic spouse maybe you want to learn what are some of the things that are appropriate to wear in certain occasions so that's gonna be for our next sit down video so with that said thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next video stay healthy everyone this nasty virus is still going around i really don't want to get into it too much but please stay healthy, hydrate yourself, drink your vitamins, and do everything that the World Health Organization is like telling everyone to do to keep fit. And yeah, I'll be keeping my fingers crossed and praying for everyone's health as well. So yeah, with that said, thank you so much for being here and I really hope to see you in the next video. Okay, bye.